Hello and welcome back, Jennifer here at JP Smith. And today we're going to be doing um, a bit of a renovation project. I was given this lovely um, set of drawers. They look very old. As you can see, they're very marked, they're very dusty. They've got drippings of something. They could be anything from bird poo to paint. Um, they're in really quite bad nick, but they work. They've got these lovely little glass beads um, as handles. All the drawers open and shut. Um, and this person who gave it to me has had it for a very long time and it was given um, to her by someone else. And she was doing a big clean out and decided that she hadn't done anything with it for so long. She wasn't, probably wasn't going to now. And so she thought maybe I could do something with it. So I am going to renovate it. We are going to need paint, or just acrylics, whatever you have. We are going to need a jolly good scrubbing brush. Um, we're going to need a big old paintbrush that we're going to use with our wood glue, which we will mix in a bowl with water. You can use Mod Podge, you can use anything um, you like. And our circles of fabric. Um, I'm not going to cut them up while we're here. You can just go back and look under the basics for cutting circles, cutting pieces of fabric. There's one on freehand cutting, there's one on um, stenciling or other um, ways of cutting. But I have a stock of um, circles in all kinds of fabrics. So in the name of how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, I'm not going to sit down here and spend hours trying to cut fabric to the right size. On other days, which are cutting days, I cut fabric circles and teardrops um, and they get stored in um, packets which you will have no doubt seen before my many many ziploc bags oh i left that open and now they're falling out well done jennifer um so today we um are going to be covering this and and we're covering it in fabric now in theory we could have one piece of fabric here another piece of fabric here but you know if this is not your thing and it's not what you usually do a lot of people actually really struggle with that because you've got to line it up exactly. But if we do it very much like um, paper mache and we use our circles to only stick on one at a time, we land up with a really nice effect when it's finished, but you're only dealing with it in manageable bits. And so it's really good if you are um, um, shape challenged, ruler challenged, cutout challenged, um, you have sore hands like I do. Um, there are many, many reasons why covering this in a single piece of fabric and getting it exactly right is a bit overwhelming for you. So I haven't cleaned it up first because I wanted you to see what bad shape it was in first. I, my hands can't scrub so I'm going to head off and get my husband who's lovingly volunteered to clean it up for me. But basically, um, it just needs a jolly good clean. If you use water, the water's going to soak in. This is MDF board. Um, so please don't use water on anything like this. Um, if you're renovating something that's already got a finish, give it a really good sand. Um, the nice thing about covering this in, in wood glue or Mod Podge is it doesn't matter if the finish on it um, is um, water-based or oil-based you can just glue on top of whatever just give it a really good sand so um, we're going to stop now and start again when this is ready and prepared um, uh, which you will need to do with whatever you're covering as well but if you buy something new you buy you, you buy a tin or a something like this from a craft store um, you don't need to sand it or anything, just give it a good wipe down, make sure that it's clean.
I have a glass jar, my wood glue and some water. <clears throat> now you can just use straight Mod Podge, it's quite expensive but it, um, it doesn't yellow over time. This does. Um, we're not going to see most of it. I like things with an antique look, it takes a long time to yellow. So I'm not um, as fussed about that, I, but I'm, I'm watering it down because this glue is quite old. It still works, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just been sitting in its container oh, for a very long time. It was actually a two kilo tub and we're down to the dregs now. So I've transferred it through to this jar but it really is very thick, which is actually quite nice for some projects. Um, but for decoupage, it is not. So I am going to mix it about hmm, half water, half glue. I think I've put too much in there. You can't take water out. You can add to it, but you can't take it out. So I don't know if you can see my mixing there. If this is too watery, the water is going to absorb into the MDF board, which is not good. We don't want that. We want a nice, we want everything to stick really, really, really well. But we don't want it to um, warp the piece either.
I'm going to finish the whole thing off with a little bit of a whitewash. So I've got some water and some white paint in here and uh, one of these brushes. Mix it all about. And where am I going? I'm actually going to start at the back. And so the only thing I need to do after this, of course, is sign my name somewhere and um, seal it. I'm going to buy a sealer. I've run out, but you can varnish it. You can whatever you want. There we go.